Hello, 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 hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Uh, today's video, something I want to talk about, something I need to talk about. Uh, a lot of this goes on and a lot of this is not being prevented on jobs. And and you may not know what this is. Or some of you may have experienced this, but I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I call it conspiring to get rid of you. Now, what that is, let me tell you what that is. Conspiring to get rid of you. That's when you start noticing all of a sudden you having problems. Uh, certain co-workers start doing stuff to make it look like uh, you doing something wrong or cause you to get an attitude. You know, things that uh, management would take in consideration when uh, to fire you. That's what is called conspiring to get rid of you. And... Um, what recently happened to me was just fucking ridiculous. You know, I had noticed the signs for a long time. It was a lot of shit that was going on. Uh, I call them hand-picked co-workers. They, these hand-picked ones start doing little shit to, to get a type of reaction out of you or to cause some problems. And, and, and then next thing you know, it, it starts escalating and management making write ups on you until ready they to a point to uh call you an office talking about uh disciplinary actions or we send you to human resources or what we're gonna do about this. And I call this conspiring to get rid of you. And I have a problem with management, a boss or management or over the road trucking it, it, it could be a dispatcher and coworkers conspiring to get rid of you. The fuck you hire me for? I come in there to do my job. Who the hell wants to get up, come into work every day, got to get braced and prepared for what nonsense might happen today. And being a female truck driver, and I experienced a lot of bullshit because I don't have the attitude that they have at the job. They are lazy. And they want to run things the way they want to run things. They want to do things when they ready to do things. And I'm just not that type of worker. You know, I look for a trucking company. They got their shit together. Well, you ain't got to come in there and deal with no co-workers copping an attitude with you. Or you ask them to do their job. You got to hear their mouth. Or mouth off back to them because they done got disrespectful with you. Or deal with management trying to make it look like you were the one doing something improper. I call that conspiring to get rid of you. And that's what happened in my job. I'm just going to put that out there. That's what happened. Little shit was happening here and there. Little setup type shit. Little shit we had to go over there and say something to them. Little shit they would bullshit they would do. I mean, you know, I never did understand somebody. You mouth off to me out there. But then when you go run tail the boss, you got a different story. You out there telling me what the fuck you ain't going to do and who I need to get to do your job. Talking in a threatening manner. Then when I go tell the boss, like they say do, why don't you tell the boss? Okay, now I'm telling the boss what you did. The boss telling me, I threatened you. That's what you ran in there and said. This recent incident that caused me to quit and the prior incident when that guy threatened me, both of them, I'm told by the boss that both of them came in there and said I threatened him. Now, see, this is the problem. Now, they out there saying they little shit to me. Then when they go in there and tell the boss, the boss relaying a different story to me. But then when the boss's boss asks him what happened, my boss is telling his boss 
some different bullshit. That's what I call conspiring to get rid of you. You let these type of individuals stay on the job the way they were threatening me, not doing their job. You were the boss. But you want to make an example out of me talking about the way I handled it, went off on that man. That man ain't special. And see, that's the problem. It's nothing but men running that place. And the place is holy hell. A trucker shouldn't be having no interaction or disagreements with anybody in trucking. You shouldn't be. But it is in trucking and local with co-workers. See, that's why I like driving trucks because I don't like hanging around the yard. I don't stand around there and talk. Them a majority men. I ain't got shit to talk about. I'm in and out. Get the truck loaded. I go get a tip. Get another load. Finish my day, hopefully, with no issues with your equipment. But that's not how it went down. I'm dealing with a job that was conspiring to get rid of me. And you were doing it deliberate. That trash man did that shit on purpose. Like he always do that shit on purpose. And I'm sick of it. You had a boss in there that every time he tell a story about what happened, it's a different story. Well, you come out here and tell me one thing, then you tell your boss another thing. I wonder if the owner of the company know what the hell you and your boss been saying. Maybe they need to look into what you've been telling people. How true are the events that's coming out your mouth? How would you like dealing with a job doing that to you? This wasn't nothing but some old, more worn truck plant shit. See, that's why my lawsuit should have went through. Because if that case had went through and they'd have got sued, I'd have been a historic case that would have prevented employers from doing this damn shit. Doing shit to go lie on you. Set you up to look like you about to hit something then lie about it. Go in there. You mouth off at me, threaten me out there in the yard. They go, what, uh, if you, you got all them balls to threaten me in the yard. Why you ain't got balls enough to go in there and tell the boss that you just threatened me? No, the boss was covering up for what the fuck was going on at that job. Point blank. And I'm sick of it. That is called conspiring to get rid of you. And I don't play.